everyone, this is part 3 of my review of the Minion 260 frame from Pat's Mini H Quad, um, available at patsminihquad.com. Um, I've been flying this for the last few weeks now, um, also known as crashing it for the last few weeks, and I have to say that it's definitely a, uh, a capable uh, platform and a, a really solid frame. Um, I've had numerous crashes, uh, the only thing I've ended up with is a small little uh, scratch or dent in this front corner here and a small little uh, gouge or dent in the uh, arm here and uh, that's after uh, striking a metal goal post um, hitting a dried up creek bed at probably 40 miles an hour um, two trees uh, probably 10 emergency landings in the grass and uh, who knows how many other times it's hit the ground um, so you know holds up really well to some abuse um, as far as um, flight characteristics go I didn't have any problems at all getting the nays tuned in and uh, and tuned you know well for it I've been flying it in rate um, and it's it's handled really really well I'm finally starting to get comfortable with it and uh, starting to push it even a little bit harder um, as far as um, setup that I've been using uh, I had not had a chance to try the six inch propellers um, mostly because on 3S with 5 inch this things are uh, you know pretty quick uh, it only weighs 85 grams naked so um, you know as long as you're careful with your gear um, it really has a lot of pop even on 3S and like I said these these Airbot or Micro Titan uh, 2300 kV motors whichever you want to refer to them as they uh, provided more than enough uh, thrust for for this setup on 3S with this size prop so uh, the ESE stayed cool the motor stayed cool <clears throat> I ran, you know, pack after pack through it with no issues. So, um, you know, my theory was if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, um, I'm assuming that you're probably going to get even more performance out of the uh, the six inch props when you put those on there. A little additional thrust, uh, maybe a hair more flight time, depending on your your setup of uh, lipo and uh, and everything else. So, um, all in all, just a very stable platform for um, for FPV. <clears throat> I was uh, I was able to really get no. Um, jello out of the FPV cam probably thanks to the little rubber mounts that were included in the kit uh, so that was not a problem and um, I think they do make a mount now for the top of this to, uh, to use for a Mobius but uh, without it even I put some uh, moon gel down on this top plate and strapped my Mobius to it and 
It's a jello free experience as you can see from the video. It came out uh, very clean. So <clears throat> all in all, just a uh, you know, a very stable platform and durable platform for um, you know, if someone looking for a frame that's in the 260 range that uh, can support the 6-inch props. Um, this one again retails for 115, so you know, if you're looking for a uh, a platform that uh and this meets all your needs, then I think it's something you should check out. Um, the only um, issue I have been asked about it from the group, I guess I had a few messages asking about how I, if I really cared for the uh, ESCs being mounted on the arms, and I have to say that uh, they really gave me no issue. Um, you know, there was obviously a little bit more work to cut everything short to get it clean on the arms versus having a frame that had them tucked inside, but there's some definite advantages to uh, having them out on the arms via, you know, one being that they cool down from some prop wash um, and just forward motion in general, and two, you know, having them outside the uh, frame, and if there was some kind of emergency where, you know, you had a problem with ESCs, uh, the fact that they're out on the arms makes it a lot easier to uh, service them and to uh, change them out. Um, also, I would assume if you know if, if one of these did start to melt down or catch fire, uh, the fact that they're out on the arms, you could get get in pretty quickly with a pair of wire cutters and cut them right off the frame and save the rest of your stuff. So, um, you know, all in all, just a uh, you know, it's been a real pleasure to fly, and uh, been really easy to maintain just because of the uh, the simplicity. Um, you know, this is, there was some question about the idea of the arms being one big piece like that and how they'd hold up, and I've seen absolutely absolutely no indication that that's a uh, a bad design choice. I don't think so at all. It, it seems like they've held up really well. Um, again, it's been crashed as I only know how to crash them, which is often and uh, repeatedly, and uh, and uh, no issues, no problems. So, uh, again, this is the uh, Minion 260 from Pat's Mini H Quad dot com. Uh, I'd like to take a second to uh, thank everybody in the group for all their support and for following along with this review. And last but not least, I'd also like to thank Pat from uh, patsminiehquad.com for sending this frame out for me to review. So it's uh, been a pleasure to fly, and uh, you know, if it's if it's uh, a model that checks all the boxes off for you when you're looking for a frame, then I suggest that you uh, check it out. Thanks a lot.